Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in our previous session, we have seen the complete introduction about the discrete mathematics. And now in this session, we'll start with the first concept in discrete mathematics that is propositional logic or propositional statement. So we can call it as a proposition, proposition or proposition logic or propositional statement. So this proposition is also called as a statement. And we know that a statement means it can be a sentence, right? So a sentence can also be called as a statement. So this is a sentence. So, every sentence cannot be a proposition. Every sentence cannot be a proposition. But a few sentences can be called as a proposition. So, which kind of sentences? So, the sentence which can be having as a result the true or false are called as propositional statements. So, the propositional, state, propositional statement means it's a declarative sentence which gives either true or false but not both. So we can write the definition here. So a declarative statement, declarative sentence, declarative sentence which gives A result as true or false. So this is called as propositional logic. Propositional logic or propositional statement. Right? And here the result of this propositional logic is called as a truth value. So here, there will be a different terminologies. The terminologies will be different. So the result, the result of propositional logic is called truth value. The result of propositional a logic is called a truth value. Proposition logic means nothing but this statement, right? So this truth value, which is nothing but a result of proposition, can be represented as true or t or one. And another one, the another result of truth value will be Obviously, it will be false, capital F, or zero. So true or false, but not both. So any sentence, any sentence which gives exactly either true or false can be called as this proposition statement. So example, example, right? So number of pages in a book. The number of pages, sorry, sorry I, I went into the discrete mathematics. So this is not the thing. Yeah. So we can go with the grass is green. So this is a statement, right? This is a sentence. But we have to know whether it is a propositional statement or not. So when we are saying it as a propositional statement, if it gives a result, is a true or false? Yes, grass is green. That's a true. That's a statement. It's a true. So this will be comes under the propositional statement. So this is a propositional statement. Anything propositional statement or propositional logic. Okay. And this is the first example. Second example. I may go to movie. 
I may go to movie. So this is also a sentence, but we have to decide whether it is a propositional statement or not. So I may go to movie. So it doesn't give the result either true or false. So such type of statements we call it as non-propositional statements. Non-propositional statements, right? So the statement which gives either true or false that will be only called as a propositional statement. So we will see a few examples for this propositional and the non-propositional statements, right? So Dog is in black color. So this will be a propositional because we are saying dog is black color. So either it may be true or false. So this comes under the propositional. Then what will be the non-propositional? Non-propositional. What is the color of dog? What is the color of dog? So this is not a statement. This is a question, right? So we are asking some question. So which doesn't give the result as either true or false. So this kind of things will also be comes under this non-proportional statements. So we can say this is a statement and this gives either true or false. Yes. For 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. That is true. So this doesn't come under the proportional because 3, the addition of x and y is 3. The result depends upon the values of x and y. We are not giving x and y. So we can't say whether it is a true or false. If x is 1 and y is 2, then this statement is true and if x is taken as 2 and y is taken as 2, this statement will be false. So we can't decide whether the statement is true or false. So this comes under the non-propositional statement, non-propositional statement. So whatever the questions the questionary or the opinions opinions the questionaries if the statement is of a questionary or opinions that doesn't comes under the non propositional statements and if they are not in questionary or opinions then it comes under this propositional statement Okay, right? So, hope you understood. Now, what are the different kinds of propositions? There are different categories of propositions. So, a proposition can be categorized in two ways. One is atomic or a simple Atomic proposition or we can also call it as a simple proposition. Second one is a compound propositions. Compound propositions. So which kind of propositional statements can come under this atomic? Not further breakdown. So if any statement or if any sentence which can't be further reduced, okay, so that comes under the atomic or simply we can say independent statements. Independent statements. 
and there will be no connectives no connectives okay only one statement okay so example for this simple uh, propositions we can say it is raining so that is simple because it is raining so we can say either it, it, may, it may be a true or false it may be a true or false coming to the compound these are a dependence dependent propositions so more than one proposition more than one propositional statements and there are correctives correctives used between propositional statements so there will be a different correctives right so we will see those connectors in our further session but if there are one or more simple statements that also we can write. So more than one simple propositions, more than one pro simple proposition, see, see you can write it here. It is raining and roads are filled with water. So that means roads are filled with water. This is a one proposition. It's raining is another proposition. So we are combining two propositions with some connectives. So this here end is called as a connective. So if we are using more than one simple propositions, that we call it as a compound proposition. And if you are using only one statement, a single statement, independent statement, that we call it as a atomic or a simple proposition. So if you are dealing with the compound propositions, obviously we have to use some connectives. Connectives, right? So this is all about our propositional logic. So once again, I'm repeating the definition of propositional statement. So it is a declarative sentence which results either true or false, but not both. So it should say either it will be true or false, but not both. So such type of sentence, we call it as a propositional statement. And these are of two types, atomic and compound. So let's stop here. In our next session, we'll see what are the different connectivities, connectives, which connects multiple simple uh, propositional statement to form the compound propositions, right? So I'll stop here. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.